All right, what up, guys? Time to give this a whirl. We have mostly legacy crap still, so I don't know how this is going to go. Including the bow, so we just don't do a tenth of damage yet. issues we need some armor yeah we're sitting at 600 is bad but hopefully we can get into world tier 4 Not that there's the, uh, I mean, I consider that kind of just beating the game. The first PTR goes, oh god, that was bad. You time to do that. I need to roll total armor on the pants. It's pretty much what's holding me back, and it just wouldn't give it, it didn't give it to me. If we had um, a better bow, we'd do a lot more damage. Bosses are actually been fairly easy up until this point. It's dealing with a huge mob. Here we go. 
Look at there. Alright, go through the build real quick. Like I said, we have mostly legacy stuff. The only thing that's changed is the boots, the pants, and the blade. And see, on this, we need total armor to get our armor up. And this, we need this to change desperately. Actually, one, I don't think we. The issue with it not being ancestral means that you can't put two aspect or not aspects, but you can't roll uh, two tempers. So, you need to make sure to go a little bit slower on this stuff since it's a little bit different, especially the Paragon, because we can only have five boards. It's very sim it's not optimized yet. It's very similar to the other board. The only thing is we don't use deadly ambush anymore. And efficacy is going to need to go, I think. It's not really that important. Could definitely do better. Probably just do better with the headhunter, couldn't we? The new one that they added. It's all normal nodes. So it just boosts all your normal stats. That's pretty cool. Working our way over here for some max life. Get rid of, not get rid of fluidity, but put it somewhere else. Somewhere better than this. Because damage to crowd control doesn't affect uh, close quarters combat anymore. It doesn't add more damage. So, fluidity would probably be better. Even just here, to be honest. It adds more damage and stuff. It's flat damage. So... Maybe we make an on-the-fly edit here. Yeah, so like, what if we just take this? Take that. I uh, like, I can pretty much not fully guarantee you that this is better, but pretty damn close. Don't need that anymore or these and hold on what if we got rid of this one two three four okay and we went one two three four five, five. okay yeah never mind on that <laughs> never mind Okay, and then we come over here. Put Bane in here. Grab. That. Once Bane gets upgraded, it would easily hit this. So that's actually a, kind of the, where the problem is going to be. Don't need that. There we go. It works for now. Once you the once the size gets bigger, this one will count 
and this one would count. It'll make things easier. Just move this here. And you can kind of save a node. This is vulnerable damage, so this wouldn't be bad to grab either, actually. But this just adding flat damage is actually pretty nice. And damage to elites, instead of them having to be crowd controlled, it's just damage. Alright, anyway though. There's the build, plus some edits. And I appreciate anybody that watched. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all the generic stuff. I know I rambled on this, but this is all just new and weird. But we have quote unquote world tier four. I don't know what uh Yeah, I don't know what the what is it called? Torment four? I guess they're gonna go with the Diablo theme and they're gonna add more difficulties probably by adding more torments, which would be pretty cool, actually. But it's just a lot to get used to. There we go. Format 4. Alright. 